Alright guys, we are back to this 7 day roguelike challenge of 2012, and I'll be honest with you, I am back for the second time today. Um, I actually fired up, I managed to find a very obscure roguelike from the challenge called Life of Sir Points a Lot, and I had to scour like hell to find it, and then I had to scour like by the way back machine, even it was hard to get to. Uh, there, and then I managed to find the instructions, or at least the concepts that work in it, uh, sort of, vaguely, via another totally different Wayback Machine link that I had to scour for. It took quite a while to get it all set up and running, and I thought, okay, this will be kind of neat. I bet you nobody else has done a playthrough of this, and um, I was uh, I was, I was disappointed. Uh, not based on the game, although the game was somewhat cumbersome in its interface, uh, but it, it began to um, exhibit some signs that worried me that it might be a uh, racist or something game. Um, my first clue was as there was a bunch of goblins, and then I saw a goblin that was labeled as a Japanese goblin, and I thought, okay, well, maybe that's a reference to some mythology, that there's a Japanese type of goblin, and perhaps has a Japanese name, and he's just elected to call it a Japanese goblin. But a short while later, there was a Jewish goblin, and I thought, okay, we're getting into dangerous territory here. And the final straw, a moment later, I saw a gay goblin, and I thought, okay, whoever this is just had a, a childish sense of humor and, and an offensive sense of humor. So I'm not even going to put that up. I recorded about uh, 10 minutes of it before I realized this is not worthy of this channel. So I apologize for those who want the history of the 7-Day Roguelike Challenge, because uh, we are skipping one that I do have access to, but fuck it. Um, all of us are better off. So instead, and this is more hopeful, we're looking at a game called Hope. Uh, what else is hopeful is that this one is by Slashy Santiago Zapata. Uh, his games are always noteworthy. Uh, there are several versions of this game out there. I will include a link to where you can get them uh, on itch.io. Um, but uh, one of them has the media pack, which is the one we're playing. One of them does not, which might be ASCII or something. I'm not sure. Apparently, I downloaded the latter one uh, four years ago, but never, never played it yet. Um, let me see if there's any information I can give you besides, hey, cool title screen. Um, is there, is there, there's a, oh, that's a configuration file, we don't open that. It seems like there might be some MIDI files that are supposed to be playing, but if so, I'm not hearing it. Are you? I'm not hearing it. Um, I think we're supposed to be hearing some, M some MIDI, and it looks like there's an MP3 folder, so I'm guessing that there is that as well. But so far, nothing. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll kick in shortly. Let's go ahead and press A for new game. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Let me make sure it's not too loud. I'm going to turn it down, guys. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, that's kind of low. It's well under my voice. I mean, a tiny bit lower. All right, we got some music. I have no idea what we're doing, other than that we are welcomed. Uh, we can change with A from grab and change with S from bomb. Often his uh, games in the past have been based on Nintendo games, so it's possible this is based on a property that I just don't, I can't identify, even though I have gotten into Nintendo a bit lately with my Retro Pie. Uh, let's try, like, question mark, because that's cool. No, it doesn't work. Um, we're in Bomber Base, I'm guessing. There's something in the top right that says ZZZ8. Does that mean we're asleep or something? There's our hit points in the top left, I'm guessing. Our mouse can, um... Oh, I guess we can probably click. Yeah, let's try clicking to the right here. Yeah. So you can move using the mouse. You can't walk there. I guess that's... Can I go here? Oh, that's, that's a... Not really, um... A diagonal option, I see. Alright, I'm not going to use the mouse, because I hate using the mouse. Let's get back to the number pad. Got some interesting, um... Oblong, ovular rooms. And some cool music. So far, not a lot of action. We are in Bomber Base. I mean, that's like our home base, and there's no threat here. Although, why we're forced to walk through all these rooms, I don't know if there's nothing here. Is that a monster? What is that? Can we, can we do L for look? No? Can we do, like, period... Um, semicolon, comma, none of that did shit. Um, let's try, let's try using our mouse. Can I right-click it? Nope. Whatever that is, I don't know. Let's go try and grab it. 
Try bumping into it. You remember something. Three veer. You feel the world dissolving around you. Alright. Maybe maybe we are asleep and we're in some sort of um, VR. And that's about to be revealed. No, it didn't do anything though. Oh, wait the fuck. Okay. Now we're in criteria. <laughs> Um, let, oh, we have something else. We have, we have, we don't have grab anymore. We have, let's try plasma beam. Z. Direction east. You shoot at the drivel bat. Yes, I do, sir. Um, I killed it. No, uh, MP3 sound for the plasma beam. I would have thought there might be a horn toad. I'm, I am hit for two damage. There's a lot of shit coming at us. Should we be dodging this shit? Should we be running? I'm just firing. Side hoppers. Whatever the hell that is. Looks like you have to shoot on, um, you know, linear paths. There's no off-axis shooting. It looks like there might be some items to the right there. Oh, no, that's a monster of some sort. That's a fucking hopper thing. All right, let's get this guy. The horn Toad. Oh! Interesting, in the in the text at the bottom, we didn't shoot a horn Toad. We shot at the horn Um... Well, we are now in a sea cave. Is every time we die, we go to a new place? I didn't notice if our hit points dropped. And we look different. We look like some sort of, um... Transcendent robot. Like the chick from Metropolis became an angel. We now have an energy arrow. Oh, I was... Yeah, I was pressing Z. We can also press X to morph. Whatever that means. Let's just not do it yet. I have no idea what we're trying to do, guys. Do you? Does this ring a bell for somebody? Is this, is this a Nintendo-based game or something that I'm not grasping? I always like... I always enjoy Slashy's games because he always uh, goes out on a limb and tries something off, off the beaten path. But he was the first to admit, especially back in the day, he didn't always include much documentation with his games, so you never know what the fuck you're doing. Let's try Zed to the east. Oh, we sh shoot arrows of energy... The jellyfish times three. And we, I guess, killed it because it disappeared. Every move our Z count climbs. That was a. Uh, I, I didn't note it in time. He's like a sea urchin, so they're Nautiluses. Not a lie. Our, our hit points are dropping. You see, they're getting low. What the hell is that? Uh, the fish. You shoot arrows of energy, the fish. One. Alright, we killed it. And I'm guessing some arrows continued on to hit the cave wall, because it said that. It's the fish too, guys. Let's go this way. There's one of these things again. The last time we touched it, we dissolved, and I don't know if that means that we died, and therefore we woke up in the new spot, or... Let's try shooting it. You can't attack the memory fragment. Let's get it. We Apparently we were right about that. You remember something. Forco. <laughs> you feel the world dissolving around you. What? Oh, we didn't even go anywhere new this time. Oh. Yeah, we did. You wake up. So, the first time we found a memory, memory fa fragment, we found um, three Veer. And the second time was four Co. I wonder if there's like ten fragments we have to gather? We're in a different game, guys. We're not just in a different um, environment. We're in a different game because look, our hit points have been replaced with wounds, one okay, hunger. We have hunger now and thirst and fatigue. We can change our, our weapon with with A. Let's do that now. Let's just switch to a shotgun. Action is now grab. Action is now shotgun. Went right over knife for some reason. Um, change with five or S maybe. Sleep, get off, bike. We're already off a bike, aren't we? Wait, what the hell? Alright, I moved and we suddenly ended up in this cave, guys. It's also morning and we have 2,000 fuel. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I love Slashy dearly. He's a mainstay of the, uh, of the roguelike scene. But sometimes his games make you think he might have been heavily in the pot or something when he, when he was coding. That is not an, uh, an assertion. That is a, a joking guess. What's up, Ben? Sorry, my cat suddenly 
saying hello. Let's go get this can of food. Guess guesswork. You feel less hungry. Okay, as soon as we step on it, we eat it. We're a bit hungry. You you got ammo. Okay. We're dehydrated, guys. We need water. Do you think there's water in the giant canisters? Or is that fuel? You can't walk there. Lenius, my, my dearest one, what do you wish? You are my heart. I'm not sure what we're doing. Oh, there comes a goddamn crab of mutant origins. Um, let's try pressing Z to shoot it with a shotgun. Boom. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no MP3s that I'm hearing. Unless, unless that was music. You shoot the spider, Ty. Some, some sort of spider. We're pretty damn dehydrated, guys. I think if we don't find water soon, we're probably gonna die. You shoot the spider. Here comes this sort of moth. Coincidentally, I just redid the moth graphics for caverns this morning. Oh, the butterfly. Is that a friendly person, or is that a... a menacing... mutant chick? You shoot the punker. Well, I, I hope she was menacing. Not as menacing now. Lenny is my dearest one. Do you wish out? Is that your, is that your request? Here. I open doors because I am your slave. Go. All right. Um. Speaking of slaves, um, I or, or servants at least, I guess. Um, I suppose this is had to blast that butterfly. I. I've been playing a lot with ChatGPT. I'm sure everybody here is aware of... I'm sure there are ongoing conversations about the state of AI and everyone's um, social media these days, especially with the... Originally, it was with the, the graphical um, systems like um, Stable Diffusion, etc., which I am using to redo the graphics in Caverns to make them finally legal. Um, but I've also been playing with ChatGPT, which is a uh, an ongoing, an online um, chatbot in in beta right now through uh, OpenAI, and it is very, very impressive. I might um, shot it with a, I shot the Sunbeat and the Cliff both guys. I might convert to a live action version. I, I I tried to play a role playing game with it last night. Like I tried to get it to invent a role playing game and play with me as a, as the DM as we went along. And it, it started off really promising. It did some really impressive world building and and coming up with ideas and stuff. But uh, it, it it never quite got the hang of the idea that it wasn't allowed to make decisions for my character. And there was also some ongoing craziness with objects that were appearing and reapp disappearing and reappearing in my inventory, and it was kind of weird. But um, I might you know convert its dialogue to you know get one of the live. Uh, AI actors you can utilize to, to talk text, um, to speak text, pardon me, um, and then act out my own side of it and just uh, put that up online, because it's, it's obviously not a roguelike, but it was a procedurally generated adventure that was turn-based that I had. The turn just kind of got out of whack, but you know what I wish I could find is my bike again, and then maybe I could ride to the next location. Do you think that's possible? We seem to be stuck in this particular... We're desperately hungry, guys, and we are dehydrated. We are very tired. I don't know what to do about that. Can we press... Uh... Oh, we can press X to sleep. Well, uh, as soon as we kill this spider and this commando dude... I can't tell if I'm on diagonals with him. All hopes are lost. Uh... <laughs> what the hell? Um... That's a pretty short playthrough, guys, and there's a part of me that's like, we should play again, but I, I, I don't foresee me grasping the concepts at work without outside intervention. So, rather than simply play a game again immediately, perhaps I'll, uh, I'll drop Santiago a line and say, hey, what's going on with Hope? Like, do you have a rule book anywhere? Can you explain it? Um, and then maybe we can come at this with a bit more of an informed, um, bit of play, instead of uh, me just having no clue what the fuck's even happening. I don't even understand the background of the story. Um, so maybe he'll have some insights. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. And like I said, I may or may not eventually put up that uh, that discussion with the AI, because it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty fun it was a pretty fun role-playing session with, a, with an insane DM. Anyways, that's the end of that, guys. 
I, uh, I'll be back when I'm back, man. Got a lot of work going on. It's Christmas coming up. It's crazy times. Um, but I'll be back when I'm back, and I hope wherever you are, you have a great day. If, if I'm not back before the holidays, I hope you have a great holidays. And if I am, I still hope you have a great holidays, because I'm not a jerk. Bye. Hey, quick addendum, guys, because I just realized there are instructions slash an explanation as to what's going on, but it's online. Take a look. Uh, right here where I got the game, if you, if you take the time to peruse this rather than just jump on and start playing the game like an idiot like I did, it tells you what's happening. Uh, hope. Dreams of heroes and monsters in faraway lands, jungles, caverns, aliens, turtles. They haunt your mind every night. A new adventure every time you close your eyes. You wake up in a cave. You see a metal door with a rusty keyboard plugged in. As you approach the door, a robotic voice asks you to enter your password. Who are you and why are you here? And most importantly, what is the password? As you step outside the cavern, you find yourself in a des deserted wasteland. Jesus, I can't speak. Uh, we saw that in action, for sure. You ride your bike over the ruined roads. I didn't. I just walked away from it. Uh, trying to survive and find an answer. Instructions. You stand in a ruined world filled with mutants and monsters. Your mission is to enter the shelter where it's supposed to be safe, but you forgot the password. The only way to remember it is to find the fragments of it in your video game-themed dreams. Press A and S to change the actions you perform with Z and X. These are different depending on the world you are in. We saw that in action. Move around with the arrow keys or the numpad. You start in the middle of a dream, as we did. Well, that's what the Z meant, I guess. It did, it did indeed meant we were, mean we were asleep. You start in the middle of a dream. While in your dreams, you must survive and find the light bulb. That, that's a light bulb? Okay. I thought it was like an astonished balloon. To remember a fragment of the password. When you wake up, you'll be next to a red square that represents the entrance to the shelter. I was? Shit. Step on it, and walk all the way to the left to find the shelter door. This is where you will input the password once you manage to remember it. While in the real world, you need to keep yourself well-fed, hydrated, and healthy. Use your bike to roam the wasteland looking for supplies, but beware of the mutants and crazy surface dwellers. Remember to keep your bike fuel up and stock in ammo to defend yourself until you can sleep again. Known issues. Pressing S when there are no available special skills might crash the game. I didn't know I could... Oh, I guess I did know they could do that. Yeah. In general, this game was made in seven days for the 7 DRL Challenge 2012. There is a lot of rough stuff. If enough people care, I will prepare a bug fix version. So make sure to report them as comments below. I didn't have any bugs, man. I didn't, not that I noticed, uh, that I can remember. I just, uh, I was just baffled. But armed with this knowledge, I can at least, um, try approaching it again with a bit more insight. Um, I may or may not do that soon. I'm not gonna do it today. I've gotta get ready for work and crap. But, um, uh, I may or may not do that soon. We'll see if I, uh, if I want to fire it up again in the immediate. If not, you have the information now as to what it means, and you can play it on your own, because I include the link, and you can even see it at the top there. Um, that's about all I needed to tell you guys. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Anticlimactic, I had to come in here to click stop. Bye!